I have to keep Clint alive as long as physically possible. If if I can do that, I honestly don't. I don't know if I can, uh, because I think every Clint I've had has died, except for maybe one. I think I've had one Clint that didn't die, but all my most of my Clint's died. So I don't see why this one will be any different. A few moments later, if I can land a bite. Clint's dead. What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we basically uh, spent our time fighting the trainers around Castelia City trying to train up for the battle against Berg, the Caselia City Gym Leader. In today's episode, we are going to be doing just that, taking on the gym and trying not to die. But before we do that, we're going to do a quick little team recap. Uh, I've grinded everyone up to level 25. Pepper got to 26 on accident because Otto knows and whatnot. But starting off, we have our starter, Hawk the Pig Knight. Knight of Nature with the Blaze Ability, Rock and Flame Charge, Arm Thrust, Roll Out, and Tail Whip. Then we have Spam the Herdier, Quirky Nature with the Intimidate Ability, Rock and Return, Crunch, Work Up, and Leer. Next up, we have Henry the Growlithe, Quirky Nature with the Intimidate Ability, Rockin' Fire Fang, Leer, Flame Wheel, and Helping Hand. Next up, we have Brain the Raticate, Bashful Nature with the Guts Ability, Rockin' Hyper Fang, Flame Wheel, Crunch, and Focus Energy. Then we have Clint the War Turtle, Lax Nature with the Torn Ability, Rockin' Water Pulse, Bite, Rapid Spin, and Withdraw. And last but not least, we have Pepper the Furret, Serious Nature with the Frisk Ability, Rockin' Return, Super Fang, Foresight, and Defense Curl. So. That is our team. Hopefully, this battle is going to work out, but I honestly don't think it's going to. Because with my luck, I'm going to get my shit wrecked. Because, you know, that's not the right place. All right. So, uh, I actually don't know how many uh, gym trainers there's going to be in this gym. So, hopefully, there's enough to get us to, like, level 26 or 27. Because, otherwise, I'm in for a bit of a hassle. Because that's just never fun. Like, at all. Ever. Uh, but, I don't, like, I honestly, I don't know what level Berg's team is. I think his ace is, like, level 28, which means I probably should have gone for level 26 before I started, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I'm gonna just deal with this pincer myself, well, with Hawk. But, uh, I should probably, I'm gonna try to get Spam and Henry up some levels, because my main strategy for Levani is to... Uh, just spam, uh, switch the two in, and just lower uh, his their attack, because that's really all I can do. Like, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, that's basically my only real strategy, and my only, uh, my only real hope of victory, because things are just not gonna work out otherwise. I'm, n I'm honestly, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I kind of feel like. We aren't going to get through this battle without somebody dying. And if I had to pick anybody who might fall in this battle, it's probably somewhere between Brain and Pepper. Because we have so many normal types that fill the same role as uh, Pepper and Brain in their own ways. Uh, just different stats and whatnot. And honestly, if I need a normal type, my best choice is Spam. So, if I can keep Spam alive, that's fantastic. But the others, like, if the sacrifice needs to be made, then the sacrifice needs to be made. And that sounds messed up, but I honestly think that long term, Spam is really the only one that's going to be staying on the team. Like, long term, at all. Because why would I really use any of the others? They're, they're all... Unfortunately, all of them, in terms of use, probably not going to be too useful within or by the time the next gym rolls around. And that's in like two episodes, so. That is unfortunate. But, <clears throat> what's also unfortunate, actually, is the fact that I don't know what Berg's team's going to be. I would assume he's going to have like four or five mons. And if that's the case, that's not bad. But it's not good, because there's a lot of scary bug types. For example, 
uh, in this game, Beedrill's actually a little scary. Uh, actually, all of the early route um, bug types are a little scary in this game, to be perfectly honest with you guys. And uh, that's never a good thing. So if we can avoid them being a pain in my ass, that would be great. But also there's just, you know, regular scary bug types, Synth uh, Pinsir, Scyther, Heracross, uh, honestly, like even Motham and Wormadam. Well, Motham more so than Wormadam uh, can be scary. And I don't really want to put up with them. Speaking of, unfortunately enough, we have one right here. Oh my god, why did that do so much damage? I don't know. Henry doesn't have the best defenses, and it's a little unfortunate. I'm going to keep him in, but I'm going to immediately switch out because I already know that Henry can't handle himself. This thing might have absorbed, though, so... Oh god, okay. Um, I'll just, I'll just go for the Water Pulse. If this thing has Giga Drain... By any chance, I, I won't die, so that's fine. I also think it's not going to have it. Parafusion, great. That's what I love to see. Now, I'm really glad uh, Clint actually learned uh, Water Pulse at level 25, which is fantastic, uh, because now I don't have to worry about spamming a Water Gun and doing zero damage the entire time, because goddamn was that awful and definitely not worth it. I don't know if I want to be up here. No, this is where I was. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm going to see if this will take me to... Berg or not. Will this take me to Berg? It doesn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna go down then. Does this bring me down? No, it doesn't. Does this bring me down? Oh, that brings me up to Berg. Cool. Alright, well, I have one more trainer to fight, but I'm gonna go here, because this will open up my little exit. Fantastic. That should bring me back to Berg. I think. I'm pretty sure it brings me. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to use it to go straight up to Berg. Which will make my life easier. So, I guess for now, we can just go heal up. And I'm going to buy a few more potions. Uh, before it's too late. Because, unfortunately, uh, super potions are also just completely obsolete for us. Because they don't fully heal any of my Pokemon. Uh, or, well, most of them. What is... Real quick, what is Henry's defense? Good lord. Should I evolve... Should I evolve Henry... I don't know, because, see, the problem is, I wanted to wait until, like, level 34, because Henry learns Flamethrower at level 34, and Arcanine's base attack and special attack are only, like, 10 point difference, so, it, at the end of the day, it'd be doing more damage than Flame Whale and Fire Fang, uh, and then if I get Flare, if I were to get Flare Blitz, which, wait, that would be waiting, like, until, like, I think the 40s or 50s, which isn't worth it. Uh, my other option would be to wait until Outrage, and I think I learned Outrage at like level 30 or something. So I think what I'm, I'm what I wanted to try to do is wait until level 34, because then I'll learn a flamethrower as a Growlithe, and then I can evolve and I'll learn um, Extreme Speed as an Arcanine. So unfortunately, uh, Henry just has terrible defenses. And honestly, not the best of stats. And I feel like an Arcanine would be super fucking helpful. But I don't want to miss out on my my moves. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Because, I mean... Part of me feels like it is. But also, then I have to find where the move relearner is. And I think the move relearner is like super late into the game. And then I have to rely on TMs. And TMs, I don't know what TMs said. Henry can learn. Let's look at them right now. We might as well. We have nothing better to do. We're only taking on a gym today, so... I mean, I'm pretty sure he can learn strength, so... That's at least damage, and I guess coverage? Not really, but kind of. I don't know. Return would be nice. Uh, work up would help. Do you learn work up? You don't. Great. What's the point? Um, return, you'd learn... Uh, rock Smash... Oh, he didn't up Rock Smash in this game. Well, I think he did. No, I don't think so. Venoshock, not useful. This grass type move. I don't know. I mean, I have... I have the Fire Stone. I guess the biggest question is, is it worth it to evolve him now just so he has a better chance in this gym 
than to just wait, potentially lose him in this battle and deal with it then. I think we're going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to evolve Henry. I'm going to pray that this is the right choice. And uh, try not to die, I guess. But an Arcanine this early in the game will give us a bit of an advantage. And he also might be useful later in, later on. I'm going to have to find out where the move relearner is, though. So, Henry, you're now an Arcanine. First fully evolved Pokemon. And all it took was me finding a stone and not being a pansy. Now, what are your stats looking like now? Look at that. Look, you'll actually be able to do something now. And you still have Intimidate, so it's even better. That was probably the biggest mistake I possibly could have made uh, in this situation. But, hey, what the, what's the worst that could happen? Look at that HP. Now, unfortunately, now he's even going to be, like, going to be able to do even less, like, help from the healing. But you also now have, like, the highest, the second highest defense out of everyone. And that also means that he'll be able to do a lot more in terms of helping us. Uh, I think. Hopefully. Better be. Alright, well, in that case, I'm just gonna not go there. That's not where I want to go. I want to fight that last trainer, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go up here and then go back down, because I'm an idiot. So, anywho, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna come back down here. We'll take on this one trainer. If I could just control my, my movements better, but I'm stupid. Uh, there we go. Let's fight you. And then... We'll go take on Bird and see how it goes. But a Twobble's actually not a good place to test out your Arcanine. So uh, let's go into Clint. Let's get Clint up a level. This should get Clint up a level. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Maybe not. I mean, it is just a Twobble. So to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get that level. No, not even close. Ninjask. Um, we'll stay in. Uh, I didn't mean to bite it. I definitely did not mean that. Oh, speed boost. Cool. I, I I should have known that. Okay, extreme speed. That's fine. Water pulse. Will this kill it? No, it doesn't. All right. Well, he's going to extreme speed again, so I'm going to just heal up because I really don't want to... I don't want Clint to die either because, honestly, uh, out of my two water types, uh, Clint is my best choice because I need the bulk. Uh, Cookie gets hit by literally any special attack and uh, she's dead. That's really all there is to it. So... I have to keep, um, I have to keep Clint alive as long as physically possible. If if I can do that, I honestly don't. I don't know if I can, uh, because I think every Clint I've had has died, except for maybe one. I think I've had one Clint that didn't die, but all my most of my Clints die. So I don't see why this one will be any different. I hope that it'll be different, but you know my. My streak of every time I nickname, like, it's like certain people I nickname, like after, you know, I nickname my, like Bulbs. I don't think us, I don't think we've lost a single Bulbs ever. Clint dies almost all the time. Olivia's a little bit of a 50 50. Sometimes she lives, sometimes she dies. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just really bad at it. I think all my Livies is, have died. I mean, Livy did just die in Singing Sapphire, but that's because I'm a moron, but she still died. I'm a moron, and then I also got critted, so it could have been worse. Um, anybody else? Well, we had one Livy that lived, but then again, she was also a Tyranitar, so it would have been really... I would have had to have been incompetent to lose her, but, you know, that wouldn't really... I wouldn't put it past myself, if I'm being honest. Now, what is he going to start off with? There's no way he's going to start it off with anything too terrifying, right? I don't think... Like, what bug... Like, I don't think he's... If he, if he has a Scyther, a Heracross, or a Pinsir, I don't think he's going to start with it. He would start off whatever his... Maybe his weakest? I don't know. I feel like it has to be one of the early bug types. Like, Butterfree, Weedle, uh, Dustox, Beautifly, and whatnot. So... You know, I really like Vespaquin. I really do. I consistently forget it exists, and I don't know how, I don't know why, but I do. And I feel bad. Vespaquin, I appreciate you, and I apologize for this, but I'm gonna have to just kick your ass right now. 
Defend order. Ooh. Oh, great. This is going to be terrible. What's your... Oh, my God. Your defense is going up, and, I, and you have leftovers. Oh, my God. That's not even bad, but now I'm not even going to kill it. And now... Flinched. Fantastic. He's going to heal it up, so it doesn't even matter. At least you heal it, so I guess there's that. I'm going to leer. Hyper potion, use that hyper potion, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to leer this thing, just so now its defense is back down. And I can potentially kill it next turn. If I play my cards right. Alright, defend order. I think with the lefties, it will live. I think. It might live. It might die, but it might live. I missed. Well, now it's going to live. Great. Okay. Well, I'm going to leer it again. Of course it then gets fully healed. Okay. Leer. Let's just let's just see what we're going to do. We're going to play the de we're going to play the 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 stats game is apparently what we're doing. You Vespaquin, you suck. And you have pressure on me, so that's even worse. Air slash, great. Okay. I'm going to go for flame wheel. I know flame wheel's not going to do as much, but at least a combo of a flame wheel and a Fire Fang should kill, even with the defense boost. I think a Flame Wheel will kill too. But we're gonna test it out just so I don't miss. Because if I miss, I'll be pissed. And of course it lives. And of course it roosts. You, Vespaquin, are already on my nerves. I already hate you. It's been literally not even this is she this is his first mon. And it's already pissing me off. That's fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna have to play. I'm going to have to play defense for a second. First off, this isn't going to fully, fully heal me, which is bad. 23 down to... Or 83 down to 56, so it's doing 30... 27? 27? I think? So I live... I live even if it crits me. By 2 HP. But, oh my god. Okay, we're going to play this game. I'm going to try to just lower its defense one stage so it can spam defend order all it wants and hopefully at least now it's either gonna go he's just gonna go back to normal like normal defense if he goes for it at least so 27 i'm gonna heal i'm just gonna get myself to full air slash that's fine okay um and then we'll go for flame wheel this is not... Okay, there we go. Well, it's gonna die next turn. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just heal that up. Let's not... Let's not... Let's not play those games. Thanks, bud. x Scissor. Okay. Was that your last air slash? I hope it was. I'm gonna fully heal and this thing's just gonna roost up. There it is. I had to, though. I couldn't just not do that. Okay, I think Flame Wheel kills, though. So it's fine. Flame Wheel kills, right? It doesn't. Okay, fantastic. Alright, well, in that case, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm healed, so that's all that matters. And now, look at that, everyone. His first Pokemon's dead. We did it. Four more to go. Fuck me. I don't know what's gonna happen. Masquerade. You, of course you'd have it, you bastard. Okay. I mean, Clint is probably my best choice. Probably. What are your special defenses? Oh, good lord. Why do you guys have such terrible defenses? I don't know what to do. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not good. I guess we can find out what it has with Frisk. Like, in terms of what, what, what item it has. Hopefully it's not like a left leftovers, because that'd be terrible. Chardy Berry. Oh, you have Intimidate. I forgot about that. See it. I'm gonna Super Fang you. What does a Chardy Berry do? Double t- <sighs> This is gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Um... I'm gonna go into Clint. I didn't even think- Okay, Signal Beam. That sucks. That did 30. Great. Okay. Bite. That's all, I can, that's all I can do. All I can do is bite it. If I can land a bite, Clint's dead. I just said it. I just said it. Clint, like, Clint just always dies. Why do you have Giga Drain? Oh my god. Okay. 
I don't know if I can take out this Masquerade if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. Great, okay. And, and now its evasiveness is up, so that's just even more annoying. And it can just signal beam and possibly confuse me. So then on top of that, I'll barely hit it. Oh my god, I don't even kill it. Okay, Spam, I need you to hit this return. Because this signal beam is probably going to confuse you. It doesn't. You hit the return. Fantastic. Thank you, Spam. Clint, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just said, like, all of five minutes ago that you constantly die. You have a Parasect? Why? Why? Does Parasect have a flying type move? Because if so, I might kill it. Okay. I'm going to have to heal up. I'm going to have to use this Parasect as a chance to heal up both Spam and Henry. So then I'm prepared for Levani. But on top of that, he has one other Pokemon. And I can only I can only begin to guess what it's going to be. Of course you have Spore, you bastard. Okay, we're playing these games. I don't have any Awakenings. I'm going to die. I'm going to scream. Clint's dead, and I'm so... Ah, <sighs> Clint, I'm sorry, dude. I know you're watching this. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm so sad. I'm, like, actually really sad that Clint's dead. I didn't even think about Giga Drain. I don't know why. I didn't think it. I just didn't think he would go for it. The thing immediately went for fucking, like, Signal Beam. I just didn't even think about it. And then it double teamed, so I didn't. I just really thought it was just gonna like sit here and be an asshole. And then it turns out it it was. It was an asshole. I just don't know. I'm running out of potions. I need to like wake up. I need to wake up. Literally one one flame charge will kill this thing. Thank you, Hawk. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. You have a berry, don't you? Oh, you don't. Okay. You have a focus ash. You fucker. You motherfucker. You are such a bitch. Why? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna kill it. Goodbye, Parasect. Berg, I hate you. I just got that. I just got Clint, and he's dead. I just can't have anything. And of course, he has a Scyther. Okay. Who who wants to go up against the Scyther? Henry's probably my best choice because the Intimidate drop, and then I can just Fire Fang it. So, let's just hope for the best. Scyther, what do you have for me? You're level 25, so that's not too scary. Um, I'm gonna go for the Fire Fang. How much does Fire Fang do? It almost one-shots. That's good. I was really hoping he'd flinch there. He has a Flying Gem. You are gonna hurt a lot. Okay, wow. That could have been a lot worse. Actually, um, I want a flame wheel because I'm not playing. I'm not playing the miss game at all. Now, what I'm gonna have to do here, though, is I'm gonna have to play the switcheroo game. So I'm gonna hope and pray that the intimidate drop, the two intimidate drops, are enough that this Levani won't somehow one shot, um, uh, Henry. And I don't think I see a world where that's possible. So. Let's switch back into Henry and hope and pray for the best. Wow. You know, I was, I'm was i glad that I was right that somebody was going to die. I'm really sad that it wasn't one of the three normal types I have on the team out of the, like, five that I have. Because that really just blows. Because, honestly, and I, I... This thing has a life orb. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know, it's fine. I've, I've seen more bullshit out of this freaking gym anyways, it doesn't even matter. It seems life orbed and all of its moves are high crit ratio. <laughs> Shadow Claw. That's gonna, it's gonna crit me and I'm gonna die before I can even kill this thing. At this point, it should die. Goodbye, Lee Vanny. <sighs> okay. Mm, I'm really pissed off. I'm really mad that Clint's dead. Because, like, he is the last person I wanted to lose. He's really the last Pokemon I wanted to lose. But, 
we got badge number three. And let's be honest, it was only a matter of time that somebody died. Unfortunately, it was, a, it was one of the few Pokemon that I have that aren't normal types. So that really sucks. I guess if there's any... If it's any bright side, if you can really say there's a bright side to this, uh, it would be the fact that I have a few encounters next episode if we survive Colrus, that is. Which is going to be a lot harder now that Clint's dead. Well, maybe not, because I feel like that Porygon would have had Thunderbolt anyways. I feel like Porygon's going to be sitting there rocking out with Thunderbolt, uh, Ice Beam, Tri-Attack, and f either Flamethrower or Psychic, one of the two. So it's going to be fun. I don't know how we're going to survive next episode. Let's go put Clint in the box, because Clint's now a dead boy. A lot more dead than he should be. And I guess we'll switch up our team a little more since I I brought Brain just because I thought maybe he could be useful with Flame Wheel. Uh, I was wrong. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to bring back uh, both Bulbs and Cookie. And we're going to just banish everyone else back to hell. So, all right. My three normal types, uh, one Grass Poison type that I already have, and then my Rock Ground type. You guys can enjoy the box. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to call an episode. I'm going to grind up my boys a little more. And by that, I mean the two that I just added back to the team. I'm going to grind them up to like level 27 with everyone else. And then next episode, we will take on Colrus. Colrus? Colrus? I think it's Colrus. I don't know. I don't remember his name. He fucking... I know he's crazy. That's all I know. But... Yeah, with that, we're going to call an episode. Unfortunately, we've now had our first death in this series, which is never good because once we have one, within three episodes, we have five. Great. So with that, I'm going to call an episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and get to pause it right into that PC party. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at PC Bowmaster. Join the Discord. The link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I am PC Bowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.